Hey everyone, Channel by 12 here, and tonight on the Coco Show, Channel by 12 channel, I want to make this quick video on this app that I've been using since, actually pretty much since I've had my iPhone, and I had this phone for about three years now, and this app that I'll be reviewing or telling you guys about, it's one of those apps that I use quite often, especially when I'm in public. I'm in Tim Hortons, I'm using their Wi-Fi. I want to know what is the speed of internet that I'm using, okay? So if you are running a 3G, LTE, 4G, whatever network you have, okay? You want to know how fast you're going so that way you can, you guys can expect how slow or how fast you're going to be uploading your picture, your status on Facebook. And I've had this phone for about three years, and it's the iPhone 4S. I'll be currently upgrading very shortly. I'm hoping within the next month or two. And the app that I want to introduce you guys to, it's called Speed Test, okay? And I'll leave the link in the description. I will try to find it like I always do for the Android, see if they do have their own proper version of it. If so, I'll leave that also in the description. So uh, it's called Speed Tests, and they also have a website called speedtest.net. I think that's I think that's it. Uh, I'll leave that also in the description as well. So if you guys, I have this right here. So if you just click on the speed test, it will bring up this little. And it'll say find the closest server. So it's gonna say begin test. Or I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Click on the begin test, and it's gonna try. It's gonna ping. It's going to be a testing the ping to find the closest server, and it's going to test the speed. And it's going to take about a couple seconds, maybe a minute. Okay, so my upload speed is complete, and now my download speed. Okay, so my upload. Actually, no, my download speed is first and the upload. The upload is somehow always the lowest one. I think it's because you use more download than actual upload. But my download speed is 14.53 megabytes per second. And my upload is 2.09 megabytes per second, which is still good. And this is because I'm running on a Wi Fi. So I'm running on my own internet, but Wi Fi, the uh, wireless. So if I was to run on, on the 3G network, it'd probably be lower, but uh, I most times when I run on my 3G, I can get at least five megabytes per second download speed, which is, to me, fairly good. I mean, I don't really do a lot of downloading, uh, especially when I'm on the go. I'm just uploading like a, a picture or two on Instagram, but other than that, I don't really do much uh, when, I'm in the, when I'm on the go. But... Uh, but it's always a useful app to always know what you're running and if you're getting your money's worth. So this is the app that I recommend everyone to choose or if you guys haven't downloaded on your iPhone or your Android that it's one of the one of those apps that I really recommend everyone to try. This is uh, uh, one of my favorite apps of all especially to find out the speed that I'm getting I usually use this a lot when I'm in Tim Hortons because I always want to know Tim Hortons you know are they what is the download speed am I getting? You know, it's, it's tricky, you know. They say free Wi-Fi, but uh, sometimes if it's slow, then it's not worth using. Sometimes it's just better using my 3G. But anyways, this is my little review on this app. I highly recommend everyone, like I said, to download it if you guys haven't. It's a great useful app to make sure that you're getting the proper speed that you're getting, especially actually testing it on your Wi-Fi. It always... So it's always uh, one of those tests that you can always do. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like always, the links are in the description. My name is Shadowway12. Take care, and I'll see you guys in another app review. Peace out.